Oh, thanks for that, Ryan. So it's the Koyak Maiden Stakes next then. Uh, this is for fillies and mares over a mile. And let's take a look at the full list there. Three-year-old swell. The top one is Blinding Kalapa for James Shea. Caramia Meadow, Steve Ran, Crogging Solstice, Ryan Costello, Derby Rising, or oh, David Robertson, Diamond Encrusted, Paul Rhodes, Grovey Project, Craig Allen, Illustrious Joshua Sutherland. In a moment, Craig Beckwith, Royal Seamstress, Jim Murray, Silent Step, Adam Old, Sun Goes Down, Martin Lee, and Taishan Santani for Vinnie Gerard, Taro Latte for Alex Ince, Unworldly Beauty, Leon Van Rensburg, Upstream Virgin for Thomas Rogers, Vavar Vroom, Ryan Tamasebi, West Modest, Darren Thompson and Zagalinis Boldini. Dan Hughes, another big field then. 18 of them this time. Straight mile of Ascot. No hard luck stories away they go. They're racing and West Modest is probably just about the first to show, but in a moment has got designs on the lead and so too is the Jim Murray horse down on this near side. Royal Seamstress pulling for its head and getting across to the rail. So they're only into two groups this time then. And Royal Seamstress is just about the leader on this near side from Blinding Kalapa and also... Taro Latte is also on the near side. Right over on the far side, it's in a moment who's the leading one there with Diamond Encrusted and Grovey Project and also Unworldly Beauty. Krogin Solstice is down on this near side. Over on the far side is illustrious as well but it's Royal Seamstress who's got the run and got the lead probably by about two angles a little bit deceptive but he's in the lead anyway in a moment he's second Diamond Cross at his third Taro Latte is the one that heads the main pack down on this near side and he's making a forward move now but Royal Seamstress is a good two lengths clear on Taro Latte down on this near side in a moment raced on its own up the centre of the track wider still Grovey Project and Diamond Encrusted and then comes West Modest who's now getting back into it again as well also sticking on well is Krogin Project and Blinding Kalapas trying to get into it as well, but it's Royal Seamstress who's still in the lead as they come down to the final two furlongs. Royal Seamstress is in the lead, Diamond Encrusted now coming out of the pack, down on this near side, Blinding Kalapa is making a forward move, but it's still Royal Seamstress in the lead, the pack are beginning to close though, Diamond Encrusted, Brahmin Kalapa, here comes Grovey Project as well, Diamond Encrusted, Grovey Project over on the far side, still Royal Seamstress down on this near side, Illustrious is getting into it as well, into the final half furlong, and it's still Royal Seamstress, but now Grovey Project hits the front, Grovey Project, Diamond Encrusted, Still as a must back the post, it's Brody Project, I think. Karamea Meadow also finished really well. But they were spread right across the track there. And I think it might well be Grovey Project. Oh, it is it's Grovey Project easily, isn't it, in the end? By a good three quarters of a length. So Craig Allen off, off to a floor on the jumps and on the flat. So Grovey Project wins it for Craig Allen. Diamond Encrusted for Paul Road second. Illustrious for Joshua Sutherland was third. Caramia Meadow for Steve Rand was never close than he was at the finish. That one will win later on in the season. And Royal Seamstress for Jim Murray led for a long way and was fifth.